name is Sanna Mari and welcome to my channel Fin Voyager. In this episode we are traveling to Cape Verde and the beautiful island of Sal. This tour leads you to the best sightseeing on the island. We took our trip directly from web Viator.com and our tour operator was Sal Experience. Our tour guide Clavis was excellent. He is born in the island of Sal and he had answer for all our questions. Where are we going first? Uh, Murdera. Murdera Bay. Oh, okay. Is it Bay. the snorkeling? Yes. Okay. So is there lovely corals and yes. fishes? Yes. Okay. And later we go see the shark. Oh, yes. The shark. <laughs> Baby shark. Baby shark. Baby shark. Baby shark. Baby shark. <laughs> but don't need to be scared. Here the shark we call them also vegetarian shark. Uh, vegetarian. Vegetarian. Yes. <laughs> okay. Our tour cost 38 euros per person. We started our tour at 9 a.m. and finished it at 4 p.m. First stop was Murdera Bay, which is the best spot for snorkeling on the shore on the island. The underwater world of Saul is mesmerizing. You can find turtles and lots of different kind of fishes here. Well, it was okay. The green islands have natural water in the mountain, but Sal big problem is water. Also, if we go deep, we find salt water because Sal is very, very small island. Yeah. Just 32 kilometers to the north to the south. Okay. And uh, it's not uh, only 12 here. and and uh, five kilometers where we oh, pass okay. in Sandra. Yeah. Very it's small water. island. Then uh, if we try to go deep to find the water, we don't find sweet water, it's only salty water. Then we cannot use that uh, for agriculture, nothing. Uh, where do you get your water? Uh, yes, good question. <laughs> from the uh, other islands? Uh, other islands, not. We get the water from the okay. sea. Okay. So the kind of shark you will see, we call them, we call them lemon shark, mm -hmm. lemon shark because their mouth is down, they eat like this, when they are babies they need to eat near, you can see sea level here is different, mm -hmm. you walk till in the middle of the sea, water still a river on your knee, okay. that's why uh, they stay here because uh, if the if they for they find food only here with the volcanic rocks mm -hmm. because if they go to the middle of the sea mm -hmm. they be food Aww. our next stop and one of my favorite ones was the shark bay Here, the lemon sharks swim gracefully in the shallows between your legs. These majestic creatures, surprisingly vegetarians, offers you unique experience in Sal. Independence in 1975. Okay. Uh, Amilcar Cabral, uh, a Roy from Cape Verde and Guinea Bissau, and the Portuguese was don't was wanted to give us independence. Then we supposed uh, to be together Guinea Bissau, and we fight together. Mm -hmm. But we didn't fight inside Cape Verde Islands. We fight in Guinea Bissau uh -huh. because Cape Verde Islands no place for fight. <laughs> Amilcar Cabral organized all military here, bring to Guinea-Bissau, in Guinea-Bissau we fight together, after independence we separate from them. Then Amilcar Cabral died, was him to make the two countries together, because Amilcar Cabral was buried in Guinea-Bissau, but the parents was from Cape Verde, and he put two countries together. Mm -hmm. But after he died, 
we separate from them. Before we was one flag together, after we separate we make our flag. The historic salt mines at Petralume offers unique experience. The entrance fee is 5 euros per person. Petra Loma is located in Crater, which is an old extinct volcano. Floating in the salty waters is amazing, like a piece of the Dead Sea here in Cape Verde. It was so fun to float on the salt water and I was surprised that it didn't even hurt the skin. We drive through the city of Esparcos, which is the capital city of Sol in Cape Verde. It is more village than city, really. Esparcos is known for its modest yet vibrant character, harmoniously combining the everyday life of the locals with occasional tourist activities. Getting to Esparcos is quite straightforward. The city is conveniently located near Amilcar Cabral International Airport. You can also get a bus ride from Santa Maria. In Terapoa, illusions come to life. You can take funny pictures here, as you can see. After driving through the sandy roads in the desert, we arrived in Puragona, the west side of the island, where you can see the Blue Eye, a natural pool, which is must-see for all. The entrance fee is 3 euros per person. I suggest that you go there by midday to see this blue eye effect. Prepare yourself to stand on the line. It can last half an hour or so, so bring your water bottle with you. You can also swim at the natural pool next to the cave and jump from the cliff. Stop. 
was small fishing village called Palmeira. The harbor of Palmeira is the main port of Saal Island. You can take a ferry here to the other islands. Here you can witness the daily activities of fishermen and experience the scenes of the sea. The food culture in Palmeira is a mix of fresh seafood and traditional Caiburdian delicacies. We ate their great lunch here, seafood pasta, and it was 16 euros. lunch we arrived to the kite beach which is known as one of the island's most popular kite surfing spots. The beach is conveniently located a short distance from the main tourist town of Santa Maria. like the content, I suggest that you subscribe my channel. Our last stop on this awesome tour was the Santa Maria Salt Ponds, located north of the city of Santa Maria. Today these salt ponds are protected as a landscape of ecological importance and are a part of the island's rich history. These ponds are located 3 meters under the sea level. I really hope you liked this tour on the island of Saal. See you in next episode.